Hello. Um, today I would like to display my collection of telescopes. First, I have a Mead, simple Mead refractor, like a two inch, simple. It's actually a really stable mount too, it's nice. Got this one out of the trash. Cleaned it up and it works perfectly. Has a 1.25 inch eyepiece. Yep. Okay. So that's that. Now, um, yeah, I'll show you my my big one now. There it is. My 10 inch Dobsonian. about five foot two so yeah things pretty big okay it's on a Dubsonian mount very stable not good for astrophotography but good for uh, looking with your eye there's the mirror 10 inch Okay, now I'm going to show you some of my lenses. First off, 25 millimeter, ah, yeah, 25 millimeter, 1.25 inch colossal. Great lens to use all the time. Second, get a 10 millimeter. Fossil. Third, got my Barlow lens. It's a 3x Barlow. Lens goes in there. And come apart. Three sections. See? One, two, the lens piece, and the middle piece. And then I got my monstrous 42-inch Kaliner deep view eyepiece right here. It's only a, it's a Kaliner, so it means it only has three lenses, three um, elements in it. So it's not uh, not the best for field of view, but yeah, it gives you a good view of the sky. So then I have my Mead electronic eyepiece. Uh, it's not too impressive. Maybe if you have a lot of people that want to see one like planet. But otherwise, it's not too good. A little like thing you can attach into the TV. Uh, let's see. Ah, very important. Everyone should get one of these. Right here. It's actually in its package. A light pollution filter. Very important for seeing deep sky objects in like, yeah, maybe a suburban area where there's light pollution from a big city. Very important. And uh, these are my binoculars I use. 40 years old, 10x50s, with um, electrical tape for the eye protectors. Yeah, so that's what I use for that. This is the camera I use. I need to get a better camera, but this is what I use. Just um, five megapixel little digital camera, kind of cheap. Yep, so, um, I have one more thing on the, uh, Orion. Yeah, this is made by Orion, so you know.
Yep, so, um, as you can see here, has a great focuser, really smooth. Crap. Okay. There, you can see it now, right? Really smooth. Uh, this one can fit 1.25 inch eyepieces and 2 inch. It's important. Uh, down here, we have lens holders and a handle. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Not a big fan of GoTo, but it came with my telescope. It's kind of difficult to use. What this one does is, um... Okay, hold on. <coughs> Plug it in the side. Turn the power on. Well, no, it's not turning on for some reason, but whatever. It um, as you turn the telescope, it'll have degrees on it in like north and south and stuff, and you have to um, move it until they all, um, both of the degrees come to zero, and you should have your star pinpointed or your object. You have to align it with Polaris. Or, no, actually, you can align it with any two stars. Um, but you have to do the date and time and everything. And point it north and have it level. So, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient. But, yep, those are my telescopes. An inch Dobsonian. And a little refractor. And all my lenses and stuff right here. Oh, yeah. One more thing. My lens case. Right there. Okay. What? What's this? You're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Yes, you are.